hi guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time you're welcome to this channel and to my returning subscribers you guys are the best so guys today i'm going to be talking about the essential documents you need as a fresher if you're coming to the university of Ilori and obviously other universities as well i'm sure the documents are similar at least 80 percent of the documents should be similar to every other university so yeah if you're interested in this video then sit back relax and enjoy the rest of it okay so the first thing you should have as a fresher when you're coming to the university you should make sure that you come with your jam results your jam results you definitely need it and also your post UTMA results as well you need that and also your WIAC results you'll be needing it because during the process of your registration everything will be asked for and you have to have it with you you don't want a situation whereby you didn't come with it and you now have to go back home and especially when you're coming from a very far place you have to have all of this so that you have a smooth and fresh registration as a fresher for your first year you don't want to go through the stress that i went through during my time because i did not know all of these things so you're getting to know this it's a privilege yes it's a big privilege that you're watching this video okay let's continue so like i said your jam results you need it and also your WIAC results either your WIAC or your gc or neco results whichever one you have just make sure you come with it so and for those that usually do do pep ijmb you know you should also come with that as well if that is what you used to you know come to university you didn't go through you know the process of jump and all you did your ijmb do pep then you make sure you come with the result as well and the other thing you should come with is your jam admission letter you must come with your admission letter i mean why would you come to the school without the admission letter <laughs> then you don't want to continue your registration so you come with your jam admission letter and also your if you're a transfer student you should definitely come with your um, transfer evidence of transfer you should come with it as well so the next thing is you should definitely you must come with your school certificates you would need it for your registration process so come with your school certificate and also your birth certificate i mean everyone should have a birth certificate right from when we were babies they already did it for us so and if you don't have you know you have to go and do it i mean i don't know the process of it but then you ask this person you ask that person they will definitely know how to guide you in making it so another thing you should have you should come with is your state of origin certificate yeah state of origin certificate i think it was even when i got admission that i went to do my state of origin certificate and there are places where you get to do it i did mine in lagos and and if you're in your state it will be easier for you that way but if you're in other state like me i'm from do you guys want to know where i'm from well that's not necessary so i did mine in lagos and i paid money for it so but if you are in your state it is easier for you to do it in your state so yeah come with your state of origin certificates because you need it and your clearance form your clearance form you need your clearance form as well and also um during the process of your registration you have to come with your passport because you will need it for you know there are several things you'll be needing your passport passport for like your student identification card you need your passport for it and also your clinic registration you would also need a passport so and i would advise that if you're doing your passport make sure the background is red background because i think i don't know why they always ask for a passport that has a red background so make sure the background is red it's very important i mean if you don't use red at least use white but trust me guys red is the common one they use in this school like red your background must be red so 
try as much as possible to stick between red background and right white background <laughs> so yeah and that is it that is it that is it that is it so for students of university of Ilon, we get to do clinic registration during our first year and it is very compulsory to do because if you don't do it at the end of your final year you would you'd be asked for all those essential documents i just talked about even your clinic registration your id card everything you'll be asked for it and if you don't have it i don't know i don't know what you want to do so make sure you take your clinic registration important you must do it and this is how the clinic registration card looks like and then like i said passports you must have a red background pass so this is my clinic registration card it is important because as a student you might fall sick one i mean you might fall sick you're not a jagaba <laughs> you're not an higher man so once in a while you you get weak so you use this card to go to the clinic and you'll be attended to yes you'll be attended to it is free so as long as you're with your student um, student uh, clinic registration card yeah you go there they'll do the test run the test check you prescribe the drugs for you and you get the drugs in the school pharmacy inside the clinic for free so and for the student identification card this is how it looks like you guys can see everything is red background red background so this is my student identification card you need your passport and that is it and yeah guys you will be doing a course registration form like you must have this because you'll be needing it for your exams when you're doing your exam you you go every day with this your course form and while you're doing your registration form you first print out your preliminary course form that you you need that as well because it is compulsory for you to print that out during your registration period it is compulsory for you to print it out and you take it to your level advisor he's going to approve of it before you'll be able to proceed for your school fees payment so that is it once you print it out your level advisor approves it then you pay for your school registration your school fees rather you ha you have to print out your school fees form as well because you'd be needing it this this back side is my school fees um, form and this is my course form so you have to um yeah laminate both of them together because everywhere you anytime you have your exam you'll be using it for your exams and that is it that i think that's basically everything everything your preliminary course form before you be able to proceed to print out your final registration course form that you have to laminate with your um, school fees form payment form so and if you want to I mean make sure you come with as much passport as possible at least eight or ten passports here yeah, because you have you'll be needing it for so many things when so many registration when you get to school so that'll be all for this video i hope you find it up helpful if you do please give the video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the section below and subscribe okay subscribe have you tapped the red button? Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!